Got a rather interesting assignment, Howley said. Get comfortable. This will take a while. The large monitor on the near wall came to life and what appeared to be an aerial view of a small community popped up. A smattering of buildings was nearly swallowed by a forest of tall trees. He slid a file folder to each of them. We're calling it Hoganville Complex, he said. Population estimated at 50, give or take. I say estimated because this isn't a town. It isn't even an unincorporated community. By the way, Hoganville is the informal name only. It's not an actual named town. He put up a map on the monitor next. It's located between the Angelina National Forest and the Sabine National Forest in Far East, Texas. Lake Sam Rayburn is here, he said, pointing. And the Louisiana border is here, in the middle of Toledo Bend Lake. Disappearances? Billy asked as he scanned the first page of the folder. Lots of them, Howley said. Let's get some background. This investigation was originally started eight months ago. Senator Trumbly from Dallas has a stake in this. His daughter has been missing for nine months now. College student. She was driving from New Orleans back to Dallas last October. Alone. The last communication he had from her was here, he said, pointing to the map in Leesville, Louisiana. Looks like it's far from a major highway, CJ said. Is it a case of the GPS leading her astray? He shrugged. Who knows? Car was found here in Deritter, he said. Clean. If the last communication was from Leesville, why is Hoganville in question? Paige asked. Hoganville is one of three investigations. One team is concentrating efforts in Baton Rouge and Louisiana State University, which on the surface appears to be the logical location. Another is going over the senator's comings and goings in both Dallas and Washington, trying to determine if it's politically motivated or not. Hoganville is an afterthought, I believe, mainly because of the weirdness of it. Weirdness? Ice tossed his pen down. In other words, we pulled the short stick. I'm afraid so. It threw up red flags, that's all. CJ was ready to push the file away, quickly losing interest. So we're like the junior varsity team? The big boys get Dallas, Washington, and Baton Rouge? Look, we take the assignment we're given and do our jobs. Now take a look at the file. It's really fascinating reading, Howley said. I think there could be something here. When the team was investigating Trumbly's disappearance, they stumbled across a rash of them, really. None appeared to be linked or have a pattern to them, just random disappearances. They discovered that there had been documented disappearances going back to 1939. The disappearances are of the variety of vagabonds, the unemployed who are traveling and looking for work, college students, hitchhikers, traveling salesmen back in the day, or people just passing through, like young Trumbly there. In the most recent cases, the last 20 years or so, most of the disappearances involve women, mostly young, always traveling alone. 